Yep, that is right. Today I'm going to be draining an ocean monument, except judging by the fact that it's one and a half million blocks, you can probably tell that it's going to be a little bit bigger than your average hardcore YouTuber. So instead of draining it the traditional way using sand and sponge, I'm going to be using some flying machines. But we'll worry about getting the redstone stuff later because for now I'm still going to need to collect some sand because I want the walls for the ocean monument to end up being glass and I'm also going to need a bunch of sand for the flying machines to actually work. And there we go, I've done a bunch of mining of sand here and here, and I've managed to get about 20 shulker boxes full of sand. Although I've still got a bunch more that I need to collect, I think I'd be better off if I start smelting all of this sand that I'm going to need to turn into glass. So I'm going to grab a bunch of furnaces, a bunch of chests, and a bunch of fuel. And now I'm going to head to spawn to build this contraption. And here it all is, and now I've just got some furnaces with fuel going into them, and then these two spaces on top, which are for me to place two shulker boxes on top, and now I just need to do this for each one of these. And now all of these are smelting, I should, keyword should, be able to go back to the desert and mine up a bunch of sand, and they should still be smelting. Now I've filled all of these shulker boxes up with sand. But sadly, all of the sand that I want to smelt into glass has not been able to in that time. And now I just want to find what ocean monument I actually want to drain. And I think the best candidate for that is the one that I raided quite a while ago when I was getting sponges to build Stampy's house. Because I've already killed all of the Elder Guardians and it's also the closest one to my main base. But I can't get started on draining until all of the glass is smelted. So while I'm waiting for it to do that, I'm going to collect all of the materials for the flying machines. And the first thing I'm going to need a bunch of is redstone blocks. Except I don't think getting all of them is going to be an issue. Yeah, this should definitely be enough. But all of this redstone will also be useful in collecting all of the pistons and observers, which I'm also going to need for the flying machines. And I've already got all the quartz, wood, and iron I'm going to need for those, so the only thing I need to collect is some cobblestone. And conveniently, in my last video, I made an AFKable stone farm. And now I've got a bunch of observers and pistons, and I've also collected a few furnaces because I believe you're going to need a few immovable objects to use the flying machines. But using common sense, you'll probably know that a flying machine needs sticky pistons, not normal pistons, which leads me to my last two materials. And for those are honey and slime blocks. And luckily for the honey, I have a farm I built a few videos ago, which has been ramping up quite a decent amount of honey. This isn't the most amount of honey, except I don't think you need to use it for the flying machines. I think you only need to use it for the sending back ones. But if I'm not using any honey blocks in the flying machines, that means I'm going to need a bunch of slime. And I'm not going to sit around killing slimes for a few hours. So that means that I'm going to make a slime farm instead. And I've AFK'd for about 30 minutes and I've gotten nothing. So even though I spent about 3 hours building it, I'm just going to abandon it and build a completely different one. And this farm is by El Mango, so make sure you check them out. Except this new farm is going to require a bunch of different materials that I did not need for that farm. And the first one is mushrooms, except I actually found a mushroom biome a few videos ago. And here it is, and the funny thing about it is that it's actually cut off by corruption, so I don't even have a full mushroom biome, except there is definitely a lot of brown mushroom trees here. But are these really trees? I don't know, I'm just gonna get to cutting them down. <laughs> And 
now I've got nine stacks of brown mushrooms. The next thing I need to collect is a bunch of powdered snow. Oh, finally, we've found some. And now I've got all of the materials I'm going to need to build this slime farm for the second time. Let's get to it. And now the slime farm is complete and after doing a bunch of AFKing I've got a bit over two double chests full of slime balls. So now I'm going to go back to my house and craft all of the slime balls into slime blocks and also organize all of the other materials. And here we go, all of the redstone materials I'm going to need for the fly machines are now fully collected. And now I've got all of the materials I'm going to need to drain the ocean monument. So the first step to draining it is building the glass wall around the outside. Except first I need to build the circle outline. And while I was doing that all of the glass has smelted up. So now I can get to placing it around the ocean monument. And there we go, that is the glass circle fully completed. But now that I've finished building it, I notice that this is way too big and even after I add some other things in that I want to, it'll be way too spaced out. But I've come up with a solution that'll be even cooler than it was going to be before. But before I can get to doing that, I need to drain out all of this water with flying machines which I've gathered the materials for just before. But before I can use flying machines to drain out this area I need to build a few sand walls because these little bits on the edges here won't be able to fit a flying machine so I'll need to drain them out manually. And here is a bunch of the sand placed in, except I've actually run out of my sand, even though I literally had like 25 shulker boxes full of it. But I've already mined a bunch of sand and I don't want to go back to doing that, so instead I'm going to start draining this area and then I'll mine the sand down and reuse it for the other areas. And at the moment I can only drain out this area with flying machines, but to do that I need to drain out this area here and this little bit here so that I can actually build them first. But I've only got 35 sponges, so I need to go collect some more. I was only able to find one ocean monument to raid, which you can actually see in the back there, except I was still able to get just over a stack and a half of sponges, which I think should be enough if I'm able to recycle them efficiently. So now let's get to draining. And there we go, this area is completely drained. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this entire area out with the larger flying machines and depending on if it takes longer or if it's quicker than doing the normal ones like I did here, it depends on what I will do for the rest of the other three sections. And after the flying machines finished at the first section, I rebuilt them over at the second one. And there is this section fully drained. And the reason I haven't done this one yet is because I've been trying to for the past two hours 
except these flying machines are just not working. I've literally done them block for block exactly the same as the ones I did over there and there, but for some reason now they're just not working. So I'm either going to do a different design by El Mango, or I'm going to need to do the small flying machines all for this entire area, which will take a lot longer than if this just worked now. But I'm going to leave these two sections that I need to do for now because I'm quite sick of worrying about them. And I'm just going to do these other areas and the actual ocean monument in the middle with the small flying machines as I was going to do originally. And now I've got one out of the eight sections of these little corner bits done that I need to. And you probably are wondering why I stopped. And that's because I've got something I want to do first. While I was working on this little area, I think I figured out the way I want to drain out these two larger areas that remain. And it is going to be using a machine I found by Il Mango, except that machine uses a lot of honey blocks, or at least a lot more than I have got here. And this wouldn't normally be an issue because I've got my honey farm here, which I use to get all of that honey, except it is really slow. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to steal most of the bees from this farm and build a brand new one right above the ocean monument so that it's working while I drain those other parts. And here is the bee farm done now. They're not actually out working at the moment, but I think it's because it's raining, but I turned the rain off for lag. So I think now I can get to drone out all of these outer areas. And there we go. I've now got all of these side bits drained out as well as the monument itself. And while I was doing that, the honey farm up here has been running and I've been getting a decent amount of honey, which I've been pretty regularly crafting into honey blocks. And I believe this should be enough for at least one flying machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build one and then I'm going to destroy it after I use it and rebuild it and so on. And speaking of the flying machine I want to use, here it is. So basically all you need to do is update this piston with whatever and it moves this entire section forward and it can go as wide as you want. It could really be like a few hundred blocks long, but I don't think my PC would be able to handle that. But it should definitely be big enough for the sections I've marked out. So to start off this final bit of draining, I'm going to drain out this area here and this one here, which I've actually already drained out, except because I didn't remove all of the kelp, some of the water's come back up, and I think it'll take too long to do it with the smaller fly machines, so I'm just going to use the bigger ones. So now I'm going to get into constructing it. And here is the new flying machine built. So now if I use my flint and steel on this piston, oh, yes, it works. And now that I know it works, I'm going to continue using it all the way to the end. And because that was such a success, I rebuilt it at the other area I partly drained because there was still a lot more that I needed to. And after I finished using that flying machine, I rebuilt the bigger version in another one of the sections. go now I've got both of these areas drained out and this one worked perfectly fine because I already drained out a decent amount of it with the flying machines before but this one this one was a bit of effort but now I am almost done draining this ocean monument finally 
I've only got this last section left, which you'll notice has got a bunch of terrain, which I was mining at because I actually ran out of honey blocks when building that. So I did this while the farm could run to get me some more, except there is still a bunch more that I'm going to need to mine away before I can run the flying machines. And after I finished clearing out all of the stone, I brought down the sand walls and drained out the area. And now with these last few flint and steel things, we should be fully drained. Oh yes it is, oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. All the water stays up because there's some source block thingamajig, except when the last source block is gone, it all just goes, oh my god, this is so satisfying. But with that, finally, after three weeks, I have drained an ocean monument. And it seems to be lagging a bit because for some reason it's dark under here and a bunch of mobs are spawning, what the heck? But now that the ocean monument is fully drained, there's only one last thing I need to do and that is tear down all of these sand walls. And there we go, all of the sand is now removed, except the floor is uneven. So what I'm gonna do is go around the edges and level all of it down to this Y level, which I believe is Y level 36. And there we go, now this entire area is completely flat. Now you probably notice there's a few water pockets here, except they don't really matter because I'm just going to build over them with grass in the next video when I transform the ocean monument, so you're not gonna be able to see it. And I was about to say I was completely done draining the ocean monument, but I completely forgot about the inside of it. And there we go, I have now drained the entire insides of the ocean monument. And if you're wondering why you can still hear water if I drained it all out, it's because there's still a bunch of water underneath the monument, and in these floor areas here, go all around the temple, which I'm not going to drain out for the reasons I said before. And with that, I have finally drained my ocean monument inside of Hardcore Minecraft. Except this probably isn't even half of the work that's going to be put into this mega base in total. Now I want you to guess how long you think I spent to drain this ocean monument. Just say it in your head, you know, don't comment it down, I know that someone's gonna cheat. So how long do you think, maybe 100, even 200 days? But no, it's more like 350 days. It took me to do this, which is about 50 hours. But there's one last thing I want to do in this video, and that is a solution to a problem I said a little bit ago. And that is that I think that this circle is actually too big. Except because I couldn't be bothered to get rid of the glass wall and rebuild it, I think that I'm going to build another one inside of it. I've now got this entire outer wall of glass done. And it only took me a few hours, but those few hours did put me over 2,100 days. So I'm gonna hope to get this whole mega project done by 2,500 days. But I don't know, this area is pretty big and I'm gonna try and detail it the best I can. But finally, after three weeks, that is going to do me for today. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!